Hey guys, welcome back. LND with you once again. Uh, doing a, another base review for you guys. Um, uh, I'm excited to share this base. This is a, um, and excited to share some of the stats that I've come up with. I've been running this base for uh, two days with, with Warlord and one day with Snake Eyes. And what's, what I love about this is these are days when I was above 5,400 trophies, right? So we've kind of established that that, that cutoff at 5,400 where the bases just don't do as well above 5400 so uh this base performed all right uh before we get into that just a couple couple things a couple items of housekeeping um listen if you if you watch my videos I, I appreciate the support uh please subscribe i i, I love you know, new subs keep me going uh this channel is a it's a kind of a new hobby for me i enjoy doing it i like I like teaching, I like sharing things I've, I've learned about this game. Um, I am passionate about this game. Uh, I, I played a lot. Uh, if you're watching this video, it's because you also play the game and you want to get better. That's that's me. That's what I want to do. So I, 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 it helps me to get that feedback to know that like, okay, people are watching this. They do appreciate it. Um, so I, I, please, uh, please subscribe, like, comment, whatever. Um, or tell me I suck. That's fine too. All right. Um, and the other thing, some of you may have noticed the, the base link is not in the description for this video. Uh, I've noticed that a lot of people just, uh, they watch like the first 30 seconds of the video and just grab the base and, and go away. <laughs> that's, that's fine. Um, I'm going to tell you how to get the base link. I promise I, I will, I will provide a base link and I will show you how to get it. Um, but I just, you know, you bear with me and, and, wa and watch this, right? It's, um, it's cool. I'm going to, so I'm gonna run through some of the stats for a few days. Um, Get, to, get into the base that we're talking about here and i want to show you a few replays of ways people attack this all right now this is a base that i, I grabbed um, from clash with Corey. i'm uh, sorry clash with Corey. um this is a base he reviewed a few days ago and he, he said this base was undefeated so i thought all right well let's let's give it a try <laughs> all right um you can see it's it's not a teaser base exactly but you got this uh, town hall down here at the bottom corner um it's kind of spread out yeah uh, you got the really if you look three different ways right you got town hall at six o'clock you got the clan castle with an expo over there at nine o'clock you got the eagle artillery right there about about two o'clock and then top side you've got these, these open compartments with inferno towers um, expos and then in the center there that's kind of interesting you got a couple storages and just a bunch of traps and expos and there's a lot of damage coming out of that, out of that core so it's a tricky base um, for sure all right i want to show you a couple ways people went about this we went about attacking this base uh, first up is neptune all right, so Neptune, this is a three star, all right? And Neptune was running three golems, a bunch of witches, um, eight super wizards, and using that, that log launcher, and eight quakes to open things up. Um, and I'll tell you, this is in three days, um, I've been three starred two times. I'm gonna get more into the stats, but it's a, it's a pretty good performance. And I'll tell you, both of the three star attacks were were similar to this, right? Okay, so you open up the core there. Uh, he's got another, he's taking his time with these quakes too. But open up the middle, and he's coming from the far side over here, you know, opposite the town hall, which it's a risky move. You know, you got, you got golems down, a bunch of witches behind, and the ice golems in. It's just, it's a spam attack. Um, I'm gonna see that log launcher coming in. And I, honestly, I love watching that log, launch, log launcher tear down those walls. It's pretty cool. Um, but the log launcher runs out of gas. And there's, there's no way, even if, even if it doesn't take any damage, that log launcher will not get to the town hall. So this is a risky strategy, a risky approach to this base. Um, and obviously Neptune pulled it off. Uh, there's uh, no, suspend, no suspense there. Um, it's, this was a three-star attack, but it was it was close. Right? I'll, I'll say it was close. All right, so at this point, uh, Log Launcher dumps his troops. The Yeti's in there. They're wandering off, you know, because they're, they're gonna take the nearest targets, right? So they're up there getting that 
held at elixir storage, and then they get, get into that scatter compartment. It's a bunch of witches. Okay, my my defensive hound pops, so those pups are slowing things down. And right around this point, it looks like, man, this might be a single pop, right? You get the champion with her ability. She pops it there. She And you can see that the town hall has been loosened up at that point, and yeah, there goes the champ. Yeah. Champ didn't quite get it. But the town hall's hanging by a thread, and the queen still got her ability, so there it goes. Uh, the queen gets the town hall, she cleans up the rest of the six o'clock, and then up here at the top, you know, the witches, super wizards, it's all just different buildings left to, left to finish off the triple. So, a th three star um, on defense, uh, you know, and that's never fun. Um, I, I will say, I, I feel like there's a bit of luck involved there. All right, because if that queen almost missed the town hall, and if she had, that would have been a nice, a nice single star defense. All right, so here's another one, another another time I took three stars, and you can see that you look at the army's composition here, very similar, right? Four columns, seven super wizards and monster witches and similar approach again coming from that far side and i'm not gonna play through it. i'll speed up a little bit because it, it's, it's very similar right just quaking open the middle golems witches super wizards sprinkle in get the log launcher going you know slightly different launch point with the, that log launcher but same basic idea um just spam attack everything is going in there all right and then blow into the core there, you get the yetis out of the launcher, um, there you go, the champion coming in for the bottom side, she, she put in some work, and she actually gets the town hall here, softens things up, but it's, it's you know, again, close, okay, things are, they can lock on, you know, the champion, the warden, the king are all kind of locked on my lava hound, the queen's dead, and it's this, this clutch use of the invisibility spell that saves this attack. Just right there at the end, enough to get the Royal Champion in there, take out the last Archer Tower, and then that's it. Three stars. All right, and now I'm gonna give you an example of a two star, go with the Straw Hat Luffy. All right, this is a more the, the typical approach that I saw to, to this. Basically, just smash the town hall and then try to get to 50% or grab whatever whatever percentage you can plus the town hall. So, you know, just move the guy. The Archer, Archer Queen, supported by healers, and using the log launcher right into the town hall, which is, it's kind of, I don't know, it's a little bit of a waste of the log launcher's ability. Um, just saying that's so close to the town hall, but you know it, it is what it is. I mean, and, and I get it. You go into an attack. You got you've got the army you've got. You don't get you don't get to switch up your army. It's, these aren't war attacks. Um, but again, it's kind of the typical approach that I saw. People just you know, grab that town hall and then do do the best you can by with the rest of it. Um, all right, I'm going to speed this up. And on, on defense, guys, I'm using. Ice Golem and uh, Lava Hound. Uh, I, a lot of people like the Super Minions, but you know, the Super Minions you can catch a you can catch a Queen Charge off. Uh, you know, not looking. That's happened to me. All of a sudden, my Queen's dead. But um, against the spammy attacks, I, I think the Ice the Ice Golem and the Lava Hound seems to work better. All right, so this this attack petered out. There were really not much. <laughs> Ran out of troops, right? And just far too many defenses left. Okay, so let's get into the stats here. In the battle log. All right, so day one, minus 216 on defense. Um, you can see here, okay, and keep in mind, I started the day at 5,426 trophies. Took so one, one three star, seven two stars, and no single stars. All right, and I, I did the math on the, the average. Um, average trophy loss per attack was 27 which is uh, it's not not fantastic um but it's not awful we'll get into that a little bit more 
All right, so day two, start of the day at 5,424 trophies. So again, above that 5,400 um, trophy mark. Uh, one, three star, six, or well, seven, seven, two stars. That, that last attack, that last two star um, is not figured into my math here because it happened after I did my math. Um, that was, yeah, I wanted to wait in the day until all the attacks were done, but I don't know when people are going to attack me. So, all right, I didn't factor that in. But again, average trophy loss of 27 per attack. So not awful. It's not, it's, you know, that's manageable. It's going to be hard to advance much if you're losing 27 trophies on every attack. All right, so let's take a look at Snake Eyes. So Snake Eyes also ran this base for, for today. All right, and Snake Eyes started the day at 5,430 trophies. And going to the battle log. Uh, a little bit better, still waiting on that eighth attack, but all two star attacks, right? It's just seven two stars. And even those, most of those are fairly low. Now, Snake Eyes did a little bit better. Um, average trophy loss per attack with Snake Eyes was 24.7. So, not not bad. Um, and Snake Eyes, it's, it's similar setup because uh, these Snake Eyes and Warlord are both maxed on defense. Um, they're, they're stout accounts really at this point. It's just, it's just strategy. I need to attack better. I need to have been bases to work a little bit better on defense. All right. So guys, overall stats, um, 20, 23 attacks total. And I took two, I was three star two times in 23 attacks and 22 stars. All right. So no singles, but you know, at this level of legend league, um, you, you, it, you're not going to get singled very often, right? And most people are going to get at least two stars on you. So overall combined average for those 23, well, 22 attacks because they didn't factor in that last attack, um, but 26.2 trophies per attack or per defense rather. Um, that's not bad, right guys? In Legend League, not bad. I want to see if I can do better. So I'm, I'm going to load new bases in tonight, assuming I'm, I'm above 5,400 at the end of the day and I should be. Um, I'll get okay, another base, uh, another base review to you. Probably, in, we'll, we'll give it two days. I want to get you know, see if I can get like four days of defenses. All right, um, guys, I promised you a base link, and it's not in the description. So thank you for watching all the way through. I truly appreciate it. Um, I'm humbled by your support. To get the base link, I will. I need you to go to my my introduction to LND video, right? And the base link will be in the in the description uh, for that video. I'll add it in there. I'm also going to link that video to the end of this video if you want to just click through to, to get there that way. All right, gang, that's it. I appreciate you. Um, thank you so much for watching. Uh, give me give me your feedback. All right, give me your comments. Um, give me your likes and please subscribe. All right, gang, take care.